What's going on everybody? It is Screech and today we are back with another keyboard uh, unboxing slash review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Magic Refiner MK31 Clear Mechanical Keyboard. So just comparing it to what I've been using, this is the uh, Razer, I think it's Black Widow V3 or something like that, uh, green clicky mechanical keyboard. Um, and this is just my mouse I've been using, but I thought we'd try something a bit different today um, and see how it compares because this keyboard I think is like a hundred pound um, and this one you can get right now on Amazon for 15% off at £67.99 um, So yeah, let's see how it holds up. I just moved my stuff out the way um, Yeah, let's see how it is. It says blue um, It says the colors blue, but it is clear acrylic um, so we'll see if it has a blue tint or not. Um, I'm just tuck that under there. So you have your manual, uh, the keyboard itself, which we'll take a look at in a second. Um, I think that's just instructions on the coiled cable, which is a, a manga snake cable. I don't know if that's good. Um, Spare keycaps, uh, so yeah, as you can see, they are clear, um, but there is no writing on them, so that's interesting. Um, here you have your cold cable, and I'm not sure what type of cable this is. I know um, a lot of more expensive mechanical keyboards have this. Um, but yeah, there's your USB Type C, and then this end plugs into yeah, this end. And then you have your USB, which you use uh, to plug into your PC or whatever you're using. Um, so we have a keycap puller, switch puller, and a few space switches, which we'll actually take a look at. I'm not sure what switches these are using. I think they're propri proprietary switches. Um, they are linear. Uh, they are clear as well. Um, so yeah, it's nice to see you've got a bit of accessories and some spares. Um, yeah, and it's also important to note that this is fully hot swappable, this keyboard, so you can put whatever switches you might fancy in there. Let's just double check if you've got everything. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll take a look at the keyboard. I think this is the right way. Um, yeah, so definitely clear. But the sides do look very blue, so we'll see if that tint disappears um, when we turn it on, because the RGB I've heard is pretty good in this keyboard. Um, okay, so let's just take a quick look. Yeah, it is blue, fully transparent. Um, MK31 customized mechanical keyboard. Uh, if you just use switch puller. Uh, we're just going to see how easy it is. Oh, actually, I'll do this one over here to take the keycaps off and switches. So there's your keycap, and here are your switches. Pretty simple to take out, and just pop them back in like so. Yeah, that's very simple to do. Um, so yeah, if one of your switches break, it's easy to replace. Um, one thing I will say that I noticed straight away, this isn't a UK Windows, well, this actually is Windows, it's got a Windows keyboard there, um, but it isn't a UK layout. So on the UK keyboard, like mine over there, uh, this is supposed to be um, like a quotation mark, um, but it's actually at, and then we're supposed to have a pound symbol on the three, but that isn't there. So, um, yeah, when you plug it in and if you are using a traditional UK layout on your PC, um, when you press uh, shift and then two, um, where that's supposed to be at, it'll actually be the quotation marks, but the quotation marks are down here. So just something to keep in mind. But I know Mac, Mac OS uses this layout, I think. Um, so yeah, it's probably just a switch Windows to Mac and the spare keycaps. Uh, so let's plug it in and take a look at the RGB. So we've got a pretty decent quality um, coiled cable. <coughs> that just works like that. And then you have it like that. Um, just going down 
to your desk or wherever. But this does take up a lot of room um, if you want it perfectly straight like that. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, we're just going to plug this end in. I'm not actually sure what type of cable this is called. Um, I don't want to break it, actually. There we go. Yeah, I'm not sure what type of cable this is called. I just know um, in the custom keyboard modern uh, space, it is pretty um, expensive, I think. <clears throat> so I'm just using my mouse stock as the... Um, USB. Right, let's just unplug that and plug it back in again so we can see the initial boot up and three, two, one. Okay, so I will say this keyboard is very uh, pretty, I think is the right word. Um, yeah, you do not notice the blue at all, the blue tint, uh, especially when the, like, the RGB is on. Um, yeah, you do not uh, notice the blue at all. Um, but this effect I have seen before, so as you can see, it's a nice continuous sp speed. But if you type, it will get faster and faster and faster. Um, so yes, if you're playing a game, it will get faster. Um, so yeah, it's a very nice linear switch. Um, not There is no tactile bump or anything, it just... Very nice. Spacebar is balanced, love, like, really nice. Um, so if we just take a look. It does sound really good. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at the lighting effects. Okay, so there are a few different lighting effects and if I can remember how to do this, I believe it's F, N and Tab, yeah. So as you can see, the side LEDs, or the back LEDs rather, uh, individually addressable from the main LED, so um, you can do different um, colors and themes. Um, I, but I think if you press, I think it's the quotations that it changes the color. So if we, yeah. So this is just like the breathing effect, and you can change the color on that. Um, you can actually get fully white as well, which I kind of like. It's like a pearlescent kind of, which is really nice. Um, so that's just that. Uh, if you change it. It just like fades out, I think. Um, so there you have your wave. Change the wave different colors. Another sort of wave. That's pretty cool. Um, it kind of reminds me of those um, rocks you'd put in a fish tank, like the little luminescent rocks. Um, yep, so you just got your standard. And you can actually change the color of that as well. Um, that just lights up each key each row, and then you've just got multicolor, and there's your wave, which is pretty cool. Then you've got like, um, like a ripple effect. That's pretty cool. They meet in the middle, and then disperse. That's like a raindrop. Then you have just standard one color, and then back to the rainbow. Um, but to change the side LEDs, I hope you can see, um, it's just FN and then control. Yep, and then that's purple. And it's got all different effects as well. But I just like the rainbow. Um, so yeah, on this keyboard, you, don't have an FN row, but you do have FN, and then you can use one, two, three, four, all the way up to, um, I think it goes to the plus symbol, which is your 12th um, key. So it is fully functional. I think it's 65% layout, um, whereas mine was a 75, but that's because you've got your um, end key, home key, page up, page down. This has just got the delete and insert. Um, you do have a volume uh, wheel as well, which has got a nice click to it. Um, which is pretty useful. Uh, you've got your arrow keys. Um, yeah, overall this keyboard is, is pretty decent. Um, the RGB, I think, is the main selling point, especially with a transparent case like this. Um, yeah, it's definitely gonna be the main selling point. Um, so if I just turn this lamp off quick, uh, you can see the RGB. I'll actually put a few clips on of what the keyboard looks like at night, so you can just have a quick look um, at the different lighting effects.
the keyboard does sound pretty good, I must say. Um, it's nice to have a, um, a change from the tactile switch to the linear. I do think it sounds better. The keycaps are really comfortable to type on. Your fingers just sort of find their way to the center. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, I will say they do this in another color as well. Um, it's sort of like a frosted black um, and green. So if, that more, if that's more your style, I would say go for that. It is a really nice keyboard. Um, yeah, you can't see that blue hint at all. The blue tint. Um, yeah, it's fully hot swappable. I think it's three pin. Yeah, I think it's three pin. Uh, so you can put whatever switches you want in your tactile, uh, clicky, wherever you want. Um, yeah, it does come with some nice linear switches, which I believe are specific to the brand, which is Magic Refiner, which is nice to see there. Uh, venturing out and starting to make their own switches now because if you remember the mk21 they just used um like a rip off of gatron blues or reds i think it was so yeah it's uh it's got a form dampener in the center um so yeah overall this keyboard does sound really good and i think i'm gonna give this one to my brother i'm not gonna replace my keyboard just yet um yeah i'm gonna give this so i hope you all did enjoy this video where we took a look at the magic refiner mk31 mechanical keyboard to see more tech reviews from me just be sure to subscribe leave a like and let me know what you want me to see to unbox review in the future and yeah i'll catch you in the next one